Is your body betraying you? Gaining weight inexplicably despite eating healthy and exercising? So sad, but you're not alone. The hidden culprit may be lurking inside you, your hormones. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of hormones and their powerful impact on your weight. We'll unlock the secrets of these chemical messengers and how they control your appetite, metabolism, and fat storage. So, keep watching till the end to learn. How hormones affect your weight. Obesity and leptin. Leptin, the hormone we get from our fat cells, plays a big role in the appetite management system. It's like the body's natural appetite controller. When we eat, these fat cells send out leptin into our bloodstream. Once it's there, leptin does a little dance with our brain, specifically those areas that tell us we're hungry or full. You'd think having more fat cells would mean more leptin and less hunger, right? Well, not so fast. For folks who are carrying some extra weight, the story gets tricky. See, even though they have higher levels of leptin floating around, their bodies aren't great at listening to its messages. It's like their brain is on mute when it comes to leptin. So, despite having this appetite-reducing hormone on board, they don't get that full and satisfied feeling after a meal. Scientists are still digging into the why behind this mystery. Why does leptin struggle to get through to the brain in people who are overweight or obese? It's a puzzle they're working hard to solve because understanding this could help us find better ways to manage weight and appetite. So, while leptin is a key player in the hunger game, it's a bit more complicated than just having more fat cells equaling less hunger. Obesity and insulin. Insulin is like your body's financial manager. It's a hormone that your pancreas produces and plays a crucial role in managing carbohydrates and fat. It acts like a key that unlocks your cells, allowing glucose, sugar, from your bloodstream to enter tissues like muscles, the liver, and fat stores. This process ensures you have a steady energy supply for daily activities and keeps your blood sugar levels stable. Now, when someone is dealing with obesity, it gets a bit tricky. Insulin signals can sometimes get lost in translation. The body's tissues become less responsive to insulin cues, making it tough to control glucose levels effectively. This situation can set the stage for issues like type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Think of insulin as the conductor of your body's orchestra, coordinating the flow of glucose to where it's needed most. But when that conductor isn't heard as clearly, it can lead to discordant notes in your metabolic symphony. That's why it's essential to pay attention to your lifestyle and health to help insulin function optimally. Obesity and sex hormones. When it comes to fat, not all storage spots are created equal. Excess adipose tissue located in the abdominal region, often referred to as the spare tire, can pose significant health concerns. It's linked to problems like heart disease, stroke, and certain types of arthritis. On the other hand, fat hanging out on our hips and thighs is less of a concern. So, what's calling the shots in this fat distribution game? Well, it's our hormones specifically estrogens and androgens. Estrogens are in charge, especially in women of childbearing age. They're produced by the ovaries and help regulate things like ovulation. As we get older, or if you're a man, things change. Estrogen production decreases and most of it comes from body fat, though not as much as in younger women. And for guys, androgens like testosterone are the main players, at least when they're young. But as men age, those androgen levels tend to drop. Our hormones change as we age, and so does our fat storage pattern. Younger women often store fat in their lower bodies, giving them that pear-shaped look. But older men and postmenopausal women tend to pack on fat around their midsection, giving them that apple-shaped appearance. But postmenopausal women who take estrogen supplements tend to avoid that extra belly fat. So, Hormones are a big deal regarding how and where we store fat. Obesity and growth hormone. Growth hormone, the brain's secret weapon for building us up. This tiny powerhouse is made in the pituitary gland and plays a big role in how tall we get and how our bones and muscles grow. But that's not all. Growth hormone also teams up with metabolism, the way we burn those energy units called kilojoules. But how do you fight against some extra weight? Here's the deal. 
researchers have discovered that their growth hormone levels tend to be on the lower side compared to those at a healthy weight. It's like their body's growth hormone production is taking a bit of a nap. This discovery is a piece of the puzzle in understanding how our bodies work when it comes to growth and metabolism. So, when growth hormone isn't at its peak, it might contribute to the challenges that come with obesity. Think of it as your body's way of saying, hey, let's find out more about how these hormones affect our height, muscles, and metabolism. It's all part of the ongoing quest to unravel the mysteries of our bodies and how they function. Inflammatory factors and obesity. There is another aspect of obesity. It turns out that when you're carrying extra weight, your fat tissue can get a bit grumpy, sparking what we call low-grade chronic inflammation. It's like an ongoing battle inside our bodies. When we store too much fat, it's like our fat cells start feeling the heat. They get stressed out, and that stress triggers a response. These fat cells and the immune cells hanging out in our fat tissue team up to release pro-inflammatory substances. Think of it as a little rebellion happening inside our fat. These substances, the pro-inflammatory factors, can cause trouble and create inflammation. It's like a small fire that keeps smoldering even though it's not a full-blown blaze. Now, why does this matter? Well, chronic inflammation is not great for our bodies. It's linked to a bunch of health issues, from heart problems to diabetes. So, when our fat cells get stressed and start releasing these inflammatory factors, it's like adding more fuel to the fire. Understanding this process helps researchers dig deeper into the complexities of obesity and its impact on our health. It's another piece of the puzzle in unraveling the mysteries of our bodies and how they respond to extra weight. Obesity hormones are a risk factor for disease. Obesity, which is carrying too much body weight, comes with a set of concerns. It includes heart problems, strokes, and different types of cancer. Plus, it can have an impact on how long we live and how good our quality of life is. For instance, consider the connection between obesity and breast cancer in older women. In obesity, fat cells increase the production of estrogens, hormones that play a role in breast cancer development. So, when older women with obesity have these higher estrogen levels, it can increase their risk of breast cancer. But it's not just about breast cancer. Obesity also ties into other health problems like diabetes and joint issues. Those extra pounds can put a strain on our bodies and make it harder for them to function properly. Understanding these connections is essential because it helps us make informed choices about our health. It's a reminder that being mindful of our weight isn't just about appearances. It's about taking care of our overall well-being. So, if you're concerned about obesity, it's worth considering how it might be affecting your health and what steps you can take to manage it. Behavior and obesity hormones. When people struggle with obesity, it often comes with hormonal changes that promote fat buildup. Things like overeating and a lack of regular exercise can mess with the body's natural balance, making it easier to gain weight. Our bodies are pretty smart and always aim to stay in balance. So, they resist quick fixes like crash diets. These diets, though tempting for quick results, often lead to lower levels of a hormone called leptin. This hormone helps control appetite and metabolism. When leptin drops, our bodies signal us to eat more and burn calories slower, which explains why crash dieters often regain lost weight. There's hope on the horizon, though. Researchers are looking into leptin therapy to help people maintain weight loss in the long term but it's a work in progress. On a brighter note, adopting healthy eating and exercise habits can retrain our bodies to shed excess fat and keep it off. Studies show that weight loss through a balanced diet, exercise, or even bariatric surgery can improve insulin sensitivity, reduce inflammation, and positively affect obesity-related hormones. Now that you've unlocked the secrets of obesity and hormones, it's time to take action. Understanding how your body works is the first step towards a healthier you. So, are you ready to make informed choices about your health and lifestyle? Don't let those extra pounds hold you back. And if you found this video enlightening, 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more fascinating insights into the world of health and science.